All right, so we're here today at Rolling Loud. It's the first time ever in New York, and me personally, having spent a large percentage of my life here and having been to many different Rolling Louds before, I'm very interested to see what the uh, seismic clash of Rolling Loud, New York City, etc., has to offer. So here we are at City Field. Let's run up in here. Thank you, Don. Appreciate it. How do we get closer? There's like an artist section. We gotta go around. New York City makes some noise for Sheck West one time. We can hit up Scott to get us in. That was not loud enough for one of your very own. I said, New York City makes some noise for Sheck West one time. Brittany Renner, man. She's in love with me. She hates it so much. She hates that I got a girlfriend. I'll probably be wasting like three, four, five years of my life with Brittany Renner if I didn't have a girlfriend. That's why I gotta keep my girlfriend close. Protect me from these worldly women out here, you know? <laughs> Ski mask cousin Fuzz. Yes. Hi. How are you? He got us in. No cap. We're breaking in. It's not easy no back here. No I know you guys think, oh, your friends with Ski Mask are gonna be able to get it's in. No problem. West. Trust me, it's complicated. Shack no. West, I love you. West Coast Care right there. If this is if this vlog is a quest for Kush, that's the king of Kush right now. Yeah, the the fuck going on, man. No jumper. Come on, come on, come on. this shit down because they're like people are squishing in too much they've been trying to get them to move back for like five minutes in the middle of the ski set New York City don't know how to act facts ski set has been stopped for about 15 minutes now they just keep telling the people to move back it looks like people have moved back quite a bit but they won't start it again they're I think the cops are just Please bear with us. Thank you very much. Ski mask, no respect out here. They fucking tripping on him still. It's been like 20, 25 minutes. It's like almost as long as he should have been playing. Cops are lurking. Ops are lurking. Well, get antsy, Ski. You ready? You ready? You? I know what you You? Trust me, I know. And hey, you want to do me? Yes. I don't know. Oh. You don't know what they ready for. Look at pussy. <laughs> Yo, why you keep stopping the show? Cause you were scared. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I stopped the show, nigga. Yo, this is like jail. We gotta talk through here, man. Bro, I'm so ready to go. They done cut my show off. Then what? cut me off. Cops are giving you a hard time. Yeah, bro, I'm ready to dip. What the fuck, Dave? What the fuck? Yeah, you we got with Dave with us and shit. I fuck with You're Dave. You're an official porn star. You go to porn star <laughs> fucking meetings. You gotta like, come yeah. with me, bro. I'm famous as fuck in that world. You, you go to be porn leaving star with every meeting. hoe. You be with every bitch there. Shit, you ain't gotta tell me twice. I'm coming. Bro. I'm gonna wipe the sweat off my face. It's nice to see you, though, G shit. Yo, it's good to see you. How, How about you, you, you out in New York soon? I gotta go to LA after this to work uh, with Travis Parker. We're skiing. Danny, how do you feel? 
What's up, bro? Congrats, the song going crazy. What up? Hit your phone. Hit me up. Hey, you think good on that Selena Powell interview? Yo, Ski Mask is such a Selena Powell fan. <laughs> he hit me up the day after that interview came out. He's like, bro, thank you. You just kept me so entertained for an hour. <laughs> Yo, I got one big question for China Mag. Yo, what's up? You voting for Andrew Yang? What? Damn. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. I didn't hear you, Andrew Yang, shout out. We had to make sure, we had to make sure. Yeah, we outside. What's up, bro? I'm in your city, how you doing? China Mag, New York City legend. Go watch our interview. Go watch 800 Vlad interviews. 800 Check the music. Oh, 800 of them. You see what we got behind us, though? Yeah, you ain't even peep. That's the seven line, bro. Welcome to Queens. Huh? I ain't even know that. That's something, huh? What up, bro? We on tour. We on tour. You already know the Yo, that's it. We on tour. We on tour. Yo, 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 yo. Rolling loud, New York. Smoking that good front toast split. Get that toast. What's up, guys? So, how you living? I'm living good, yeah. Yo, I'm Do not sit with no shoulders if you're not showing no titties. Do not sit titties. Titties. And put on the big screen. Titties. Shut them motherfuckers one more time. Baby girl. Oh, look, they're still doing. Put the lights back on. Put the lights on and crack. Score. Titties. All right, we here at City Field, rolling loud. Day one was a great time. Day two is about to kick off. I'm gonna head up in here and see what's going on. Let's go. Step in, step in. Look, we, we stopped here because they got the biggest joint ever. And I'm assuming it's not full of actual weed, but then this dude, look, Flick World. Shout out to my boy Flick. It's a fidget spinner for your, for your lighter. Flick season, man. This is free advertising. I'm fuck with it. Appreciate it, bro. We got that good gas right here. Tony, we gotta roll this shit up. Let me make sure the energy is here for real. I'm a huge fan of you. Can I get your order, Brad? Do we have a pen? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, paper. Hey, Josh. <laughs> Can you talk to us a little bit about your Rolling Loud experience so far? Yes, it was dumb fun. I was all sweaty, musty, and crusty on the stage or whatever, but it's, it's cool. I had a big ass bubble jacket on, so I was just hot. <laughs> How do you feel though about some of the rappers that are like the most popping New York rappers getting removed from the bill? I hate it. I hate it. I was ready for Pop Smoke. I was ready for Don't Kill Everybody. Yeah. It just, you know, it sucks. But like, we just gotta watch ourselves, like as artists, you know? It's not like back in the day where you could smack a nigga and it'll be that. Like, it's not that no more, you know? So we just gotta watch ourselves a little bit more. Right, what What are the people out there who never listen to your music, what do they need to know about you? I'm blunt, in your face with it. I might smack you, I might deck you, but don't call nobody on me. <laughs> I gotta say, you dig? <laughs> you, hit, uh, uh, you hit up any bodegas out here? Oh, uh, that chopped cheese all day. You dig? You get the chopped cheese in the all corner right, over there. I'll you see you though. Appreciate Love you, man. Hurry up though. All right, thank you. Jason got, just got left. That hurts. Little Tekka, real New York City hip hop. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one.
I said, make some noise for Lil Tecca one time. Let me get one last year from everyone. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. Do that again. One, two, three. Yeah. You know how we come in, man. I'll be back again. I don't know how. Thank you, Dio. That shit was good. Hey, Meg the Stallion's set got pushed back, so I guess it's on these guys to turn it up. The pressure's on, Scheme. So I just walk out there. Hey, if they're not gonna stop me, I'm just gonna walk out here, you know? Help get Jason in. It's just like right over there. Hey, hi, uh, how are you, sir? Uh, it's good to see you. Last time I saw you, you assaulted me. Let's just talk about that. Sorry about that. situation that people want to know um i was a very excited fan i've been there a, a little tipsy <laughs> i kind of sense that um i was just really excited to meet her she's doing her thing and she's one of my favorite artists so i was just so fake i love you and i just it was over the top it's crazy I i've love been there before too like when i interviewed thug it was like hard to not just sit there and just Fanboy. compliment him over and over yeah. and over do you feel like it was as weird as it looked in the one phone clip that went around or do you feel like she feels some sort of way or you think it's just whatever no i honestly i think she's really laid back she was really cool honestly like i was tipsy and she was just dealing with me with much grace and a lot of tolerance so yeah i, I think people are kind of making it more into something that it's not mm. um like i said she gave she gave a great interview we love make the sound here rolling loud well there we know we got the exclusive thank you thank you so Dave told one of the Rolling Loud employees that we needed to be in this van so that they would take us to the artist area, which apparently is where we should have been this whole time because apparently it's easier to get content done over there. But nobody told us yesterday, so let's head on over, see what we can get done get for now. Here. All right, so I'm here with a New York City status quo symbol, sex symbol, et cetera, action bronzer. How you feel about all these motherfucking SoundCloud rappers and whatnot coming to your city and shitting all over it, over here by the city field? <laughs> I haven't seen any shit around, but I'll be honest with you, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful time. It's gorgeous outside. We're in Flushing, Queens right now, five minutes from the birthplace of, your, of, of myself. Yeah, so this guy hit, hit a little bit close to home, huh? Yeah, this is gorgeous, man. This is a fun, this is a typical Queens evening. Give me uh, some people on the lineup that you yourself are excited for that they, they get your nipples hard. My nipples are always hard because I was born that way. But I'm really excited for my ice cream stand. That's the best performer of the whole entire shit. The performance these motherfuckers are putting on over there. Oh my lord. I don't even know who the hell's on the fucking book. I don't, I don't even know. You're, you're that checked out? Are you paying attention to these new artists, or are you just fully in your own world? I'm paying attention a little bit here and there, but I'm in my own zone. I don't even know what the hell's going on most of the time. What? I, like, I like nature. Nature. Respect that. If you were going to tell anybody who's uh, coming here that there's a local eatery that you might recommend that they hit up while they're in town, what would it be, aside from your own establishment? Of course, well, we're really close to Roosevelt Avenue, where's the mecca of Mexican food in New York City. 
So you can literally stroll down Roosevelt Avenue from here all the way down to fucking Manhattan and you'll be perfect. And there it is. Action Bronson. Appreciate you, G. All right, so I'm here with a uh, California icon, Cali Plug. How you doing out here in New York, my guy? Man, I'm just doing great, you know, being the nationwide weed man. It's a lot of responsibilities. Yeah, just jetting around the globe, committing felonies. How you feel? Uh, I'm feeling fel felonious, brother. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, bro. I'm having a great day. It's dope out here. Vibes are sick, man. Bro, have you spent enough time in New York that it's weird for you to just be able to smoke out in the open in New York? Because I lived here for a long time, and it was never like that. Yeah, matter of fact, I just gave all the rappers bags today and I gave Wale a bag he was like whoa he was like kind of spooked and shit. he's like hey man you cool bro and I'm like yeah dude. Oh, you're trying to set him up yeah exactly bro I had to tell him like I am the Cali plug bro this is what I do I have the gas all right so what, what you been smoking to lately or what, what if you had to smoke a blunt to one artist that's performing today who would it be uh damn bro fuck do we lace all the artists up bro uh, definitely uh Who's who's the biggest artist performing today, dude? I'll lose my mind. Juice World? Uh Juice World, Davies, they go hard as fuck. MGK? MGK goes, you know, he he holds it down for Ohio. Okay. Ohio boys. <laughs> Dave no. got a sack of weed now too. Yes, yes, yes. And we hey, you smoke this fronto? I don't fuck with the fronto, bro. No. no. You don't fuck with fronto? We put the gushers in the front. I don't got I don't got nothing to lie about, bro. I'm I'm, I'm paper, I'm paper. Bro. You're not Jamaican, I don't even gotta ask. Yes, yes, <laughs> Pondy River. <laughs> I uh, appreciate you, bro. Yeah, later, what the hell is this? Yeah, Woo! Hoo, hoo, hoo. Dry ice. Oh, he got the ice cream? That's one of every flavor. Be careful in there. Oh, my God. We breaking the diet hardcore right now. Look at this. Shout out to Bronson, bro. I thought I was on a diet. Yo. Yo, we got to just be doing mad taste testing right now. This might be its own video. Who wants to get laced? Dave, you done a test, taste test this for me? Shit. Uh, hold on, hold on. What's that? Indiana Jones. What's that? Good Lord. Let me see what this, see what this Indiana Jones is hitting for. Thousand pound gorilla. Oh my God. Oh no. no. Bronson, what are you doing to the squad? Oh, that looks fire. Finest. Finest. Oh. Let me see what, let me see what this, this first bite. Let me see what this shit hit for. Oh, that's bussing. That's bussing, man. It's bussing. That's bussing. Oh, it's bussing. Yo, we passing these things around like blunts. It's regular. How you feeling? Why this got pistachios? I never even knew that was a possibility. Oh, shit. You got a personal favorite? Yes. I got that Yuzu. That try the Yuzu, the yellow one. I'll hold that for you. Give me that. <laughs> try the Yuzu. Yo, Body. I want to do an interview with Body real quick. Yo, Body. Tell me what you've been doing all day today. All day today? Counting fives, tens, singles. Are they crumbled? They're crumbled, they're covered in sweat and glory. That's beautiful to hear. We're out here in Queens, New York. You already know. Body. Who else? Bam Bam, Bam, Bam Baklava. AKA Knife Glass. Knife and Glass. The mixtape is coming, man. What a fucking serious, yo. This is a serious <laughs> heavyweight tag team. Tell me how you feel about this Yuzu. Tell me what, what Yuzu is. So Yuzu is a Japanese citrus, kind of a cross between an orange, a lime, and a lemon. And there's some candied yuzu as well. It's like an old school, you know? It gives you that this taste. It gives you that feeling. It's tart, nice. and then the cream, it brings it all down together. It's balanced. Ooh, OK. Trust me. Take a good cold. bite I'm of like it. I'm like pretending that I can like really take get the a taste bite. without biting into it. Just take a bite. That's what it's about. <laughs> then you get the chew. Mm. Body. You're a man of expensive taste. Body, tell us what we need to So let's go on. Right but we out here. Let me tell you a little something that was going on. Your man right here, the interview is coming. You know what I do. My interviews is better than your album. You know what this is, man. Big body, man. Fulton Street's finest situations all day. My man who? I'm 22. Big motherfucking you know who body. Situations on the way. Free tax stone. Free tax stone forever, you heard? A lot of imitations, man. Only one, man. He be home soon. And to the other one, you already know, man. I see your security team all around rolling around, man. Whoa, you know it's getting spicy out here with big bodies. He talking that street shit. You know who it is, man. We be back, man. Oh, it's official. This really is good, even though I don't know how to explain it. His interview's coming. We were waiting for the right time. I don't know if anybody wants to fuck with this since I already sucked on it. You could go from the bottom or something. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, you gonna bring it with you? It got dry ice in it. Oh, there you go, that's smart. 
We got motherfucking Derringer right here. Oh Hold shit. On. We got Derringer. Let's go, you know who it is. What up, what up, what up? What's good? Behind that Griselda sound right there, you heard? New shots to Betty, shots to Conway, Westside, Heavy. Alchemist in the building. How you living, G? The whole squad out here, man. What the hell's going on over here? Hey, how, how you feel? How you feel when they try to act like he and you have a little bit too? You 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 remember this recent controversy? I just want you to speak on it. Listen, they been, listen, they, listen. That's a conspiracy. They was locked up in a lot of the same jails. That's got nothing to do with nothing. That's Alchemist. That's Bobby Valentino. All right, I told you we out here. Yo, Alchemist, legendary producer, but you, give my man his respect. That's all I'm saying, man. Hey, Danger, Alchemist in the same. Oh, we got Danny Lay in the building. Nice little change of pace. We got all these rapper rappers out here. What's up, G? How you doing? Hi. Good. How you doing? You performed yet? I'm assuming. I did. Oh. I did. It was so hot. How you feel about the, uh, the the vibes out here in Queens? Are you directing the vibes? Bruh, my whole family from New York, so I feel like I'm from New York. And every time I come to New York, it's just mad love. Like I love New York. That's yeah, beautiful. Hey, appreciate it. What else you got going on since we last did our interview? Um, shit, I got mash going on. I'm working on my next album. It's about to drop. My next single about to come next week with G-Eazy is lit. And I got another one following featuring the baby is lit. And then I got my album coming, visuals, everything. I'm saying it's fine. Wow, the visuals are on point. Your brother's in the building, too. How you living, G? What's going on? We out here rolling loud. You know the vibes outside, nigga. We ain't why. What's popping? Yeah, let's hold it down. Everybody stay safe. Queens. What the fuck is up? What the what fuck the is fuck? going on? Yeah. Bills, Danny Lee, we in the motherfucking building. <laughs> yes, sir. Easy. Are you guys rolling loud, in fact? Hell, yeah, we rolling super loud. I told you you were my first interview that I was really, like, smoking on camera. Like, you remember that? Oh, that was the first time you smoked on camera. For real, for real. Like, on some real, like, a real interview, you know what I'm I feel like we break a lot of people in like that, that they never smoked on camera. I had to, like, you know? Hell yeah. Well, hey, I'm happy to be a part of it. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> nice <to see> <laughs> Who gave you all the foreign woods? Hey man. You can't even walk into a store and buy those? I'm selling the foreign woods. Fifteen dollar pack. Fifteen? That's better than in the city. So come fuck with me. Wow. Foreign. You see the you see that? Do you got a tobacco license? Of course. How do you feel about the love that you got from the crowd out there? That shit was lit. I fuck with New York. This is the first one a lot of New York. That's it was five. That bitch five. Were you at the Pornhub Awards? I wasn't at the awards, but I was at the after parties. Oh, okay, because I was at the awards and I saw you at the after party, and I was like, damn, I can't believe I missed them. So that makes sense. I feel like we might be two of the only people that were there for the Pouring Up Awards and the Rolling Loud covering both sides of the culture. Feel me? Both sides of the culture. Shout out to Porn Stars that won all the awards, man. The after party was lit, lit as fuck. I fucked you. Do you think you're more likely to win an award for rapping or fucking first? Both at the same time. You know I'm coming. Fuck it. That's a really good idea. Lil Mosey. How you feel? You spend more time in New York or are you about to hit the road and go uh, do some other shit? I'm leaving soon. I gotta go back to the crib. Just got the studio in the crib, so you know we're coming. I'm finna make a lot of more hits. Album on the way. That's already done though, so. Just like that. Lil Mosey crushing the charts, bro. Stupid numbers. You got that song with Gunna, that song Stupid Heart. Yeah, Stuck in a Dream. Featuring Gunna, that shit out. Go fuck with that. That bitch. Sly. And then y'all Sly. Also, I said, so you Schlatt. Schlatt. <laughs> Yo, what up, what up? We in my hometown, New York City. The No Jumper fam just touched down. We out here, day two of Rolling Loud. Big shout out to everybody. Adam, Jason, the whole fam, Tony. Yeah, man, this shit is lit, bro. Black Dave and this motherfucker. Smoking that good, good fronto. You already know how we doing. Welcome to Rolling Loud, bitch, New York. All right, I'm out here with New York City icon, 40 ounce van. How you feeling, van? Adam, what's up, man? It's been a minute. I haven't seen in a minute. It's been a minute. We had you on the podcast forever ago. Yo, that was like beginning of beginning, talking my shit. Now, you gave me a platform. I always, I'll never forget that. I appreciate you for that. No, I'm happy to help. Uh, yo, so you, we know you for being this crazy-ass entrepreneur, the parties, the hats, everything. What exactly are you pushing these days in terms of like what you're really focused on in terms of getting this back? Tweets. I'm about to drop this tweet book. So it's going to be like a whole little decoder situation to where I take my top 150 and just break them down and just put in like a nice little coffee table book. So that's like the next step, clean up my act. I had to clean my shit up. You did? Okay, yeah, because you used to be the king of posting all the world's finest booties on Twitter. What happened to all that? You decided you need an image change? It's, it's, it's a bigger budget. You get a bigger budget when you clean your shit up. But, you know, I'm trying to get every bag I can, secure it, sponsorships, all that. I need it all. Nice. That's good to hear. Uh, in terms of just the vibe out here, how you feel? This is a New York City fest. It's a little bit of a different vibe. Talk about it. 
it's cool. I just wish they gave me like five more passes. I would have brought some elite girls out because yeah. we're, we're lacking right now. It's a lot of testosterone, but it's good vibes. All the homies are here. Yeah, it's, 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 it's scarce, but you know, you got to work with the land. You know, I think it's funny is they take their EDM outfits and then they got to like urban it up a little bit. It's funny seeing the direction they go in with, for, for their outfits here. It, it's fishnets and snapbacks. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's a good vibe. It's like, you know, everybody in the city. I like seeing people that we see out of state in, in the city that you know, I live in and I'm from. All the homies is here. You out here. Are we out here. Fresh off the boat. Yo, uh, what about uh, Pop Smoke, 22Gs, all these hot Brooklyn artists that they, they strip from the bill? How you feel about that? Nah, that shit is fucked up, bro. Niggas got to eat. Everybody got to make their money. But I don't know what the clause is on the contract, but, you know. They should They're saying they still got paid. Yeah, no, nah, you got to go to, like, four checkpoints. This shit is safer than safe in here. So, you know, they should have been able to perform. Yeah, yeah. You, you know they probably were having their family come through probably the first time seeing them perform for a lot of them. So it's kind of a shame. Yeah, I mean, regardless of what their back end is, like, you know, they doing this shit to make their money. So they're not going to fuck up that package. They come in here just to perform, get that bag, go home. Nobody going to shoot this shit up, you know. Too many cops here. Tell them where we at. We at Rolling Loud. Tell them what's your name. Lolo. Tell them where you from. The Bronx. What you smoking on? That loud. ski -oo. That's what the fuck it's about, man. You prefer to smoke backwards or front? So I see you got a wood rolled up right yeah. now. What, what kind of wood is that? Uh, it's a Russian cream. Woo! You know, with some mochi OG. Oh, shit. This nigga got designer weed. Yeah, it's my birthday, bro. What you it's think? your birthday? Yeah. Ah, yeah. Happy birthday, man. Happy birthday. Here, you happy know, birthday. Shout out to my brother. It's his birthday. We out here. <laughs> and I don't know if y'all know Russian creams in New York City. Them shits is like $20, $30. A pack, so. You know, it's quiet. It's quiet. Oh, appreciate you, bro. Happy you know, birthday, man. Thank you, man. Well, we, we got Smoke Perp in here. We've been told by strong sources, so let's run up in here and see what he's doing. Uh-oh. Look what we got going on here. Let's see what the scene looks like. All right. So we got Perp posted up in the corner. Adam! What's going on, pal? Just got off stage. What's up, fam? Yeah. Hell uh, yeah. How was it? Tell me about your experience. That shit was fucking crazy, bro. I was like, at first, I was like, damn, because I was performing at the same time as as the baby. Ooh, okay. Same but competition. hell yeah, no, no, no. But but like, um, as as my as my 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 DJ Apex was finishing, like his set was finish was was finishing. So everybody started running to the stage. So I was like, oh, it's lit. I thought we were I thought we were literally gonna go at the same time. I was like, fuck. What's your New York experience like? You lived out here for a long time. What's it mean to you to be playing to all these little hoodlums out here? It's far because like when I start when I started off doing music, I was I, I was I was out in New York for a lot for like a, a long time. So I know a lot of people out here, and people like people fuck with me out here. Like the people that I know from here, I actually met like outside. You know what I'm saying? Like not even on no like link of shit. So people fuck with me like heavy out here. Like they really fuck with me. That's it a touch. Scat. Scat. Yeah, what's the state of the it? So, the state of the skate, you know, we cut it down. It's scat. That's it. It's scat. But like I was saying, like, he said it yesterday on stage. Like, um, we got the, you know, we've been working on it for a long time, and we've been saying we were going to put it out. But, like, you know, this time it's for real. That's why he, he said it. We're dropping the Gucci Gang tape. So, God, let me hold the mic. I, 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 I see you do too much shit on Twitter for you to hold something to my face. <laughs> <laughs> too much shit on Twitter. <laughs> see, I don't upload it. My girl does. And I'm so <laughs> yeah. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> perp jumper. Perp jumper, yeah. Right. Smoke perp. This has been fun. I appreciate you, bro. All right, I love you, Adam. Love you too, G. Love Arr. you, Dad. Big Omar in the building. Arr. Is it? All in the beard again. This keeps happening to me. Yo, look, look, look. Why are you guys getting me to drink? Look, look, look. All the bitches at Rolling Loud, all y'all gotta do is come suck Adam's beard and get drunk. That's real. Come suck Perp's dick in the trailer too. In the in the Denny's next door. Nice. Woo. All right, I'm out here with the one and only Duke. Hey, How you living? I'm good. I'm good. Blessed. What do we need to know about what it's like being backstage with Thug at a Rolling Loud? You've done it many times. What do you need to bring to this kind of environment? Shit, you need to bring all your talent. Leave the bullshit at home, bring your talent, and show the people what you got from them. You're going to always conquer, succeed like that. Well, yeah, introduce us to Dora here. This is Dora, hi Dora. This 
My sister is Thug Blood sister, but it's my sister too. Okay. You feel me? You watched the Thug interview I did? Yeah. What'd you think? Thug is always funny to me. <laughs> what should I have asked him that I didn't ask him? Um, let me see. Um, who is his favorite out of all his siblings? Oh, who do you think he would say? Me. Yeah. Is it easy or is it, is it tough? Is it a race? Easy. You think he would pick her too? Yeah, of course. I was going to say, why did he wear the dress when he had the stick? Because he had the stick. Yeah. But it was before it came out, so. You know, he, but that's what's crazy is he said that bar in that interview before the album came out and we all heard that song. Oh, God. Yeah. What's weird, too, though, is that it's like you really don't need to wear a dress just because you have a gun on you. Like, a lot of people got guns on them. Some people here probably got guns on them. They don't got no dress on. I respect the dress. I'm just saying. But it's, it's a difference. Sir, it's it a big, stick. It was, it was a really big gun, right? Yeah. yeah. It, was for one, it, was, it was for a reason, but we'll let, we're going to let Thug tell you the reason, reason, like, later on, 2007. Shit, man. Duke's, Duke's going to fill us in. What about Duke's new music? What Duke got on the way? Um, Uberman 3 on the way. I'm working on it right now. Well, it's actually done. I need you to move over that way. I need a straight path to the exit to get my artist on stage pretty please. Who, who, who's your artist? Young Thug's gonna go on stage. Oh, I love Young Thug. I know him. And We're talking about him right now. That's awesome. Hold on, wait till we get into an interview. We're gonna talk to you later. White people always trying to tell us what to do, huh? Yeah, man. Wrong business. Can I get my Wrong computer? business. Tell your security, come over here, baby. That was so good. <laughs> oh, we got gas? Cozy cans? Oh, Bro, I'm fucking with these cozy cans right now. Best shit in the world, man. Oh, yeah, this yeah, is what's yeah. going on, man. Cozy cans, man. Best shit in the United States, man. Fuck with us. We about to break up a fronto and put this in the paper right now. Yeah, that's y'all. Right oh, everything. fuck with us, man. Cozy Kings, man. Y'all niggas smoke nah, that. Shout out to No Jumper, man. We fuck with Queen Bobby Pin and all them. You know yeah, shout out Queen Bobby Pin. Yeah. Very rare, yeah. Wow, that's a shout out. We got Smokey Margiela right here. Y'all already know what time it is, man. man. Margiela, my man in the building, gang shit. Bro, you, you know finally, you're, you're a real rapper out here in the field, and you still ain't old enough to get in the club, right? And I'm always in the nah, He's always in the club. I'm never in the club. I heard you always in the club. I, I'm just, I, I'm just chilling. Hey man, you, you killing it out here. What you about to go do? I'm um, about to come out on Rocky set. You know, we about to go crazy. It's lit then, all right. Back. You never know, man. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. All right, so. No, no, I said. Yo, people just started running like they were spraying this place up. Everybody just started running all crazy. We start running right to it because obviously we want to see what's going on. And uh, I don't know, some guy was screaming out BX and I don't know, he's trying to swing on somebody or fight somebody. I didn't really see exactly what happened, but that was crazy right there. It's Chrissy G right now. One day I'm going to get there. Watch. Just I'm watch. not Selena Powell. Selena Powell's a thought ass bitch, but I still fuck with you. You got where you're going, but we don't move like that out here. We're from Jersey. Big Jersey. <laughs> I just met her. That was incredible. <laughs> What up? <laughs> Ill Chris in the building. How you doing, Ill Chris? I'm good, man. You know, it's won a championship. You feel me? Yeah. Like, I actually got a jumper, though. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit, Jumpers yeah. with no jumper. What up? Hey, Black Fitted, man. How you living, G? Chris is the man. Hey, yeah, yeah. We got my man Fat Nick in the building. Hey, it was Poppins, Nicky Gordo, aka Man Chris Monday. Every Monday. How you, you're less Fat Nick at this point. Talk about this weight loss transformation you've been on. Ten months sober, four months on keto diet, and I lost 70 pounds. Hey. Bro! I was 340 pounds, I was a fat bitch, and now I'm 280. So I did all that shit. And I haven't been under 300 since high school. Shout out Adam right here. This is like my, my, my big uncle I never had. <laughs> Yo, I'm, I'm proud of seeing you get healthy and shit, man. That's, that's amazing, honestly. I know you, thanks. It's way better, bro. Kids, get off drugs. Relatable shit. Hey, it's good seeing you, bro. Appreciate you, John. Much love. Fat Nick. Yeah, buffet boys for life, right? Yep. Hey, look at this. Look at this right here. We got two fine looking motherfuckers together. Big body bass. Big motherfucking body bass. Young Sharif. We coming for the Essence Awards. You fucking cowards. We had to come back. We out here. Hey, who do you think would eat more hoagies? You or Fat Nick? Motherfucking Ahmad Rashad. That's all I got to say. Big body bass, the light skinned brother from the bank. I don't know what I was expecting when I came over here. Fat Nick, how you feeling? I feel good. I'm with my, my long lost twin right here. Good, man. That's my stunt double, man. That's all my stunts, man. Okay, we can be the same place. Listen to me. Time. If you look at a stab, shoot or cut me, you do it to him, all right? <laughs> His body double. <laughs> when you do it to me, you got to go through Big Mike first. Oh, yeah, yeah. Big Mike ain't having nothing, right, Big Mike? Yeah, you know what time it is, man.
So, uh, had a nice little session here at Rolling Loud. We just were uh, lucky enough to catch some of Uzi's set up on stage. Luckily, he kind of ushered us in there with a little help from Ski Mask. So, uh, shout out to everybody that we got content with, a little interviews in this week. Uh, shout out to everybody watching this. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm high. Fuck you, Tony. <laughs>